Hello, welcome back to Godbreaker. We're here in Glimmer Grove, having just killed everything in the ancient temple, and need to tell the shaman what we've done so. You've returned. Indeed. Yes. You shouldn't have a problem any longer. The temple has been emptied. Of its treasure, too, I'm sure. Of course. <gasps> but an empty treasury is better than a severed head, I suppose. Here's the potion, as I promised. Farewell, good thief. Thank you. And if you like, I can put a severed head in the treasury as well. I mean, there was a severed statue head. All right, now we have the potion of poison resistance. We can go back to the moth hive and blow it up. Did I collect the explosive? Yes, I did. Excellent. Excellent. I'm uh, gonna use the voice of this guy. All right, back to the caves and all that nonsense. Hopefully I know my way through them well enough now. No guarantees. Certainly doing a lot of black, uh, black tracking, back tracking through them. Uh, this is the temple entrance, yes. Okay. Uh, upstairs in the temple, thank you to the moth hive, okay. side of the stairs on this side where they will collect after coming down the stairs. Alright. Just back into the caves again. I like the temple, I don't like the caves. The caves are confusing, difficult, uh, confusing, and also difficult. I need to find the red, green, blue room, which is here, and then head for blue. <coughs> and then head down to the water. Yeah. All right. I'm just on the other side of the water. There's uh, only only two choices. I think this is the, the one that brings me out at the lower level. Yeah. Well, the upper level might work as well, although I don't know how I get down from it. I'll just try and avoid getting too stuck in this water. Not worry about the lantern too much. I don't think we need to hear too much. Okay. Alrighty, here we are back at the moth hive. We have one moth that is circling it. And uh, there's another one. There's, there are two of them running around out here. Got the explosive charge. I'm going to use my potion of poison resistance. Which should allow me to get in here pretty safely. We still have if I remember correctly, there's still a bug beast in here somewhere. Yeah, there we are. He's coming up here in fact. This moth is hunting for me. I think I'm going to knock this bug beast out and then go blow up the hive. Right. Oh, 
wait, before I blow up the hive, I better see if I can find... Uh, that better not be her. Tweak. There you are. Oops. That moth doesn't like me, but it's poison is harmless to me right now. Uh, explosive charge. Explosive charge. Oh. The web as well, okay. That's not so fun. Alright, well if you're gonna web me, I'm not gonna hang around for you to do that. I'm gonna just take her and get out of here. And then come back for the charge when I, uh, don't have to waste my time scrolling through my inventory. Yeah. We've got Twig to some kind of safety here in the cave. Should be okay here. Come back for yet. All right, let's go show these moths. Let's give these moths a nice bright flame. Shall we? Thing. This fuse should give me enough time to make it out if I don't dawdle. Right, let's go. Oh dear, which is the way out? If I don't get webbed. So if I can get out before the fuse explodes. Or rather, before the fuse reaches the end of the thing explodes. Okay. Come. They say cool guys never watch explosions, but I'm gonna watch. That should be a safe distance, right? Boom! And it killed the moth that's flying around out here too. That's not gonna make me sad at all. Excellent! So the moths are dead. So, um... We can go tell... Mr. Embry, that. We can bring Twig back to Glimmer Grove. Through the swamps of Slough. Which is what these are called now. Officially, the swamps of Slough. Come on. What's more annoying, the caves that you get lost in, or the uh, green water that just like drags at your feet so ridiculously? They're both pretty bad. Let's now go all the way back through the temple again if I can find it. Uh, yeah, this is this way. I guess this way. Yeah, there we go. And then back out to the front. And through more caves. To Glimmer Grove. And bring Twig back to her father. I'm getting somewhere. Uh, it's this way, I think. Blue and then red. Yes. Already orange. And then this one. Right. Hello 
again, man. Just bringing your daughter back, or your friend's daughter, or whoever this fellow is. Your fellow villager. Hawthorne ever pay? I have no golds or city head things. Wait, I knows. There be the shiny stone twiggers found. Forgetting it till now. Here, you take your zip. Maybe it be's getting you lots of gold. Oh, Twigsies, my little plumsy. <coughs> All right, thank you. That puts me up to twenty-five thirty-five, which is. Getting near my uh, uh, target. Better get 3,000 gold. But uh, we're still a bit short. Alright. We're still, so we've done all these opt optional objectives now, but we still haven't found the tomb of Sir Elden. And uh, I, in theory, I don't know where it is. In practice, well, I have a map. I never walk through, so I can actually follow the map and find it, I believe. Inside the Tomb of St. Elden is a font, which is what we need to use this blessed water on. But uh, if I had been listening to Mr. Embry there... Actually, I should get talk to him, right? He was the one who wanted the uh, place destroyed. Moth Hive destroyed. Yeah, the pagans just wanted it, uh, well, just wanted what's her name rescued, but he wanted it destroyed. I wonder if he'll have anything to say to me if I tell him, can I tell him it's destroyed? It's not so much that he gave me the objective, but uh, a book of his gave me the objective. So he might not say anything about it. Sir? Hello? Do you have anything to say? Do you mind if I turn all your candles off? Make it nice and dark? No? Do you want a book? Ah, you found one. Uh, the Forging of Godbreaker. From the collected letters of Tertius the Scribe, if I'm not mistaken. It's a good Don't one, isn't mind, it? brother. Here's a bit of gold. <coughs> uh, 50 gold for the book. Alright. Uh, I would give him the second book I've got. The pagan one I found. But it's got some clues about accessing the tomb. So I don't want to get rid of it just yet, just otherwise I can't read the clues. Okay. Let's go back to the tunnels, back to the temple. To begin with. And from there, we will consider the matter of Sir Eldon's tomb, which is the whole reason we're here in the first place, after all. All the rest of this stuff is just so much distractions, although... Helpful distractions in some cases. <clears throat> Alright, now we're back here at the temple. Now, if I find that book, Crumbling Diary, this is about. Uh, some they, they they drove out the hammerheads, right? We cursed and sealed the tomb with magics. Only Icebe is opening it with this lantern, locked away and safe. Only I has the key. Uh, scattered with the bones of his men, and now they wander lost. There bees are rumbling in the distance all day today, but I see I know clouds. The southern tower bees giving me a clear view tonight. So, the lantern to open the tomb is locked away, and that's in the wall safe that I found there. And this fellow is in the south tower, which would, this would appear to be the south tower. And, the question is, how do I get up there? So I don't have rope arrows, unless... <gasps> oh, I think that's the, po the poison one, yep. Um, if this is the South Tower, how do I get up to 
get in there. What can I get in from here? I don't think so. There is something jutting out there. Is that stone or wood? Where's stone? Doesn't really help me. Uh, there's a window. This is where actually we found the crumbling diary, but his key did not drop with him, so we're gonna have to try and get up there. Somehow or other. I have no idea how. Let's get back upstairs here and see if there's a way from the upper floor here to get there. Let's go upstairs. Seems unlikely on the face of it, because I would have thought I'd have found it if, if it was possible. Uh, well, I don't think that's going to open right. Let's go check the other wall. Now this one apparently does open somehow. Oh, there's a switch. Which I can't see. Oh, there it is. Switch behind the wall. But, no, this isn't getting me to the south tower. This is just getting me some loot. I don't know if that would have locked me in there forever, but I wouldn't have been surprised. Do a quick Indiana Jones there. Uh, so how do I get to the south tower? How do I get to the south tower? I have no idea. The... Walkthrough I have says that the ancient key is that I need here is on a skeleton in the upper room of a small tower uh, with a broken ceiling there as I enter the temple, right? So there's a skeleton up there which has the key I need, but how to get there? There's no way up from right in here, it's just a low cave ceiling. Bizarre. Uh. Without that key, I can't get the lantern. And without the lantern, I can't get in the tomb. And without getting in the tomb, I can't do the next thing. Let's go up the other stairs. But I don't think it's going to help me anymore. Uh, this way. Yeah, they're not. Definitely not on the southern end. It's really not going to help me, is it? Not going to help me whatsoever. Today. No, this isn't the one which had the chest under it, it was the other one. I think I emptied it. I think I unlocked it. Yeah, I did that before the kill all the craze. Yeah, this is just this room. No access to the south tower from here. Well, alright, that's another mystery, I guess, for me to solve. Um, if I say solve, by solve, I mean look up in the walkthrough. Hello? Take water arrow, why not? Uh, in the meantime, still need to find the tomb, of course. I haven't even been there yet. And it's access from these upper tunnels. I do have a map for this. I do. I don't know the way, but I can find the way. So, let's get out my compass. So if I have this correct, if I find the room with all the red crystals, then there's a western path out of that. Right, because that loops around and this way leads to the tomb. <coughs> Unless the map is lying to me, but I don't think it is. And it leads outside. Oh, great, more bugs. Great, more lanterns. More snakes and pitch of Well, blood. that's the tomb, all right. Sealed shut, of course. 
There must be a way to get that door open. Wait, what's this lamp he's got? Nothing, right? Just, just decoration. Just as a, a hint in case I didn't already know. So here we are, the zoom. Must be a way to get the door open, and I guess I need the lamp. Probably put the lantern there. What have we got here? Trees, walls, but nothing else. Uh, great. I know there's another snake around somewhere, so. Not to mention. Damn bugs. Okay. Um, so I can't get in the tomb without the lantern. And I don't know how to get the lantern. I don't know how to get to that key. So let's go back to the temple. See if I can see what I missed. Be something, right? Unless the south tower is accessible from outside the temple? But no, surely. Surely not. I would have seen it. I had to go through the tunnels, spurry tunnels, to get there. How do I get to the south tower? You're not having a switch, are you? No. This is so obscure. It gives me, firstly, it gives me only a really obscure hint how to open the, temp the temple door. Okay, but I do know. Although I hadn't actually twigged to it before reading the walkthrough. But it was there if I read that book carefully enough. And it gives me a hint where the guy would B, because of the rumblings and the South Tower. And how the hell do I get up there? Who knows? Alright. I'm going to just take another screenshot. Well, here. And uh, I'm going to go look up the walkthrough to see what I'm missing about getting this key. So I'll be back. When that's done. Okay, so what I missed somehow, somewhere, is in the caves. There is a way. You know, I was in here. I could see a window there. That window opens up into these caves. And if I keep exploring these caves even more. Possibly this path, which I remember looking into very briefly and then wondering if we could get out. Because there's a drop, I didn't, there's this drop, I didn't know I could get back out again. So maybe this is the way. Uh. Hello, Beric. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Why don't you come here? Oh wait, is there anything else in there? Do you have anything? Can you loot for me? There's just a skeleton there. Let's try a mid-air blackjack, shall we? Yeah, there's a ring. Sleep, sleep tight. Okay. So yes, yeah, so if I'd come this way earlier, I would have found this place, which is, yes, the South Tower. <coughs> Everywhere else is all blocked off when it all collapsed, and that sticky alley bit there is just presumably so we can make a safe drop down. And here we have a tiny little thing. That's the ancient key. That's all I need, I guess. Yeah, so... That's why his skull and his uh, arm 
down there on the floor below, I guess. Alright. I've got it now. I don't know how long it would have taken me to find that. The idea of, that I would... No oh idea. The idea that I would want to go and scan all of those confusing cave tunnels for something I might have missed. That's terrifying. But I guess that's why walkthroughs exist, so I don't have to worry about everything kind of well. That's a spooky lantern. Ancient people made everything out of skulls, apparently. Okay, now I have the lantern, we can open the tomb. If I can remember how to get there, it's upstairs. Upstairs is this way. Upstairs to the red room. And red room spelled backwards is murder. Just like the town Nilbog spelled backwards is goblin. There's some deep significance there, no doubt. We shall never know. Come on. Have there been any good caves in any thief missions? That's an interesting question. I know for sure there have been a lot of bad caves. Not bad caves, although possibly some of those as well. Um, probably my favourite caves so far were in Keeper of the Prophecies on the... Uh, inside the meteorite, not because they were good to explore, they had far too many enemies to really be fun to explore. Where are those bugs hiding? I don't know, but I'm going to make a run for it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, great. I'm going to make a run for it and hurt myself. Um, but the caves in Keeper of the Prophecies were, although very quite simple in construction, they looked very neat, and on top of looking neat, they also were very easy to navigate. They had flat floors. Right, pagan magics. Do your thing. So I figured the door it suddenly goes quiet. Alright. Here we have. Oh. So here we have the tomb of St. Elden, but. I don't know what that is, and it doesn't. I'm sure it won't be happy to see me, right? New objectives! Uh, Sir Elden's ghost appears to be cursed. Find a way to break the curse and free his spirit. Will he tell me, or will he attack me? I bet he'll attack me. Let's just test, test the theory. Yeah, he's gonna attack. So, find some unspecified way to break the curse. Now, I do have this blessed water that Embry wanted me to put in here. Or not in there, okay. In the font, but maybe not that font. Maybe this font. Oh. Are you sure, Elden? I am. Or at least, I think I was a long time ago. My mind is clouded with the trickster's vile magic. Why did you come here? I seek to recover your sword, Sir Elden. Ah, Godbreaker. Yes. I should have known. It is yours, friend. Please take it as a gift for ridding me of the curse. But I'm afraid it's lost its edge of late. Wielded by my wicked hands, the righteous blade was sapped of all the fiery wrath it once possessed. Fiery wrath, you say? Huh. Ah, it's coming back to me now. If you could have only seen it. High upon the hilltop, with Godbreaker aloft, I came crashing down upon the trickster's shadowy legions like the builder's hammer upon the anvil of the world. 
<sighs> None can stand before me. Not even the trickster himself. Yes. I've heard the stories. Not mere stories, Dren. The world changed that day. No longer would men cower and scrape before the minions of the Woodsy Demon. I climb his cigarette. My knights and enemies lie broken upon the steps, but I climb on like an avatar of the sun. I threw him down, and he cowered before me. I tore the bramble crown from his head and clove him in twain. <laughs> that explains the goat legs. Yes. Despite my defiance, the trickster injured and crawled into a dark hole somewhere. After my death, this cowardly priest found my tomb. They cursed me and the weapon that threw down their master. Then they cursed the tombs of my loyal knights, turning them into wraiths. Wraiths that are always searching for me. Searching, but never finding. I think I've come across them. Lost souls. With witch-like lanterns. Yes, my men still wander this festering bog. Thanks to you, they are all that remain of the trickster's curse. If you can find and bless their remains with the water from my fountain, you can break their curse as well. Take heed, friend. They will harm you if they can. Once all the curses are broken, I will use my remaining influence to bring Godbreaker to its former glory before I retire to the halls of the building. Splendid. We've got a deal then. I'll be back. Builder be with you. Hey, don't walk through me, that's quite rude. New objectives. Right, so we broke his curse, and we need to uncurse all his knights by blessing their remains with water from the fountain. And then return to the tomb for the sword. So, can't take the sword yet, I guess. Alright, so now we have four vials of blessed water. Somehow one empty vial turned into four. It's a miracle! Saint Elden. No longer merely so. Alright. So, we need to... I think there was a pile of bones over here, wasn't there? Yeah. So if we bless them... I think I heard a distant splash as his lantern fell in the water. One out of four. Right, let's get back to the caves. Just gonna run for it. I don't know where the bugs are and what they do, but hopefully I can just avoid them by running. I was gonna say seems successful, but they started following me into the cave. Oh, this is the wrong way, right? Well, I should have escaped the, escaped the bugs at any rate. Um, now, where are the other bones? There was one, I think, I believe, at the moth's place. And was there also one... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Where was the moths? Moths, moths was this way. This. Oh no. Yes. Well, there's definitely one here. Uh... Because here we have the lantern. This is the way to the moss place. Oh, this is the damn slow water. Do you have your bones here? No. Why can't you have your bones in a nice, easy place where I don't have to wade through slow water to find it? You get stuck on trees. And all that sort of thing. Unless <coughs> the bones are up there. Uh, 
which is possible. Yeah, I think they were up in there, weren't they? Which means they're coming through the wrong, the wrong passageway. Let's go take the other path and just check. So I seem to remember that's the very first ones I came across. As I was exploring up there, finding the explosive device when I, back when I couldn't pick it up. Let's see if I, my recollections are correct. Come on. Bloody logs. Uh, in here, right? Yes, those are his bones. Right, let's let's bless them too. down. Now I still have this tinder box, right? So far I've never had to use it for anything. Let's put in the seal box, tinder box. I can't light lamp campfires with it, so I don't know what it's for. Uh, I don't know why I was able to pick it up. Oh well. Okay, two down. There's some bones behind that. I wonder if that's just... Kill it with a broadhead. Apparently, well, two broadheads. Oh, fire arrow. Okay, not loot as I hoped, but I'll take it. All right, two two piles of bones blessed. One to go. Um. Was there one near the moths? I still think there was one near the moths. Now that we've got rid of that, the one that should be patrolling around here, it'll be uh, a little safer to wander around here. We've only got snakes to worry about now, and not snakes and lantern man. For some reason, I've seen some bones in this tunnel. No, that's just a mushroom. What's that up there? I, mean, I know there's more bugs. There's the bugs. No bones I can see, okay. Any bones around the outskirts? What about this ruin? No bones. <coughs> nope. Alright, I guess none of his men came here. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know where the other two are. There's one near the village, of course. And the other one is inside the, the caves. There's a room inside the caves where there's the lantern wandering around. The first one I ever saw. Oh, this water pisses me off. Why would you make this map and pick it? It's fun. I don't know. Right, so, which set of caves was it? Was it the first set of caves, or was it this set of caves? Um, well, I do know there were two, there were two ways into that room, which had the, the thing wandering around, right? The lantern. 
few different ways it connected it. One from... I think it was before the temple? Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's find out. I certainly have to go back to... Um, not the old Glimmer Grove. Anyway, because one of them's there. So I'll explore the caves that lead to Glimmer Grove a little more. I know I missed, obviously missed something there before. But, uh, was it was this way. Maybe it was this way. No, this is the way in. Uh, that takes me back towards Nilbog. That doesn't take me there, that's to the South Tower. Go this way. Alright, this just goes around in a circle and connects to the other passage. Alright, it must be the Western Caves, right? Because now these only lead me to Glimmer Grove. Well, I have business here as well, so I might as well find my blessed water vial. Head around this bland and fellow. Three out of four, one left. Okay. Back through the caves again. I swear I'm going to have to make very sure that whatever mission I play next does not have interminable cave networks because I have quite definitely run out of patience for them for now. It'll take me a few missions, I think, to clear my... Uh, reset my patience. Right, back upstairs. Back through these caves, which I'm going to need to do anyway to find my way to what's his face, Elden in his tomb again. Right, so somewhere here, first time I came through here, I found a room, a little tiny room with the lantern wandering in circles around it. Right, I definitely remember it. I don't just don't know if it was in this these caves or not for sure. Maybe it's up past this red cavern if I go come on. If I go the northern way out of here. No, oh, get up there. There we are. Or not. That's a blue room. Uh no, I'm just going around in circles. And this is that another exit from the blue room. It's blue room. That's the spy there. Um, what was it access from here? Well, at least the moth cave and nothing else, right? This way leads to 
the expedition and the way the explosive charge was and where I've already just been and also nowhere else, right? Wait, where's this guy? Yeah, this is up, uh, up above that expedition. Oh, where's this go then? Come on. Aha! Alright, there is a second exit from this cave, I'm sure. I'm sure I found it before, but... Let's go find his bones and pour some water on them. He dropped his lantern, poor fella. Yes, there is a second exit. So where does this one connect to? Oh, this is the this is the ledge above the moth cave. Okay. Right. Hello little moth. Not one of the ones I need to capture. Alright. So it was harder to find than I remembered, even though I stumbled across it twice before. Can't find it when you're actually looking for it. Alright, back to the red room. Which has the access to the tomb. Path will get me there eventually, but I think the spiders one will get me there quicker, won't it? Yeah. Come on, get up there. Okay. Physics in this game. Plus, well, physics along with uh, rather simplistic tunnel plus huh? cavern design. Alright, back at the tomb. Let's get off the ledge before we get bitten to death by bugs. Oh. And just kill ourselves to death with gravity. Hey, well, can't be helped. Hey, man. Marcus. Laird. Fergus. Boyd. Builder be praised. It's good to see your faces again. Sober men, let us leave this place and go to the builders' halls of glory. For sun and sword, my men and I thank you, friend. Take God, Rigor, and smite the trickster's legions wherever you may find them. Knights, we arrive. Well then, here's Godbreaker. This is what I've been looking for all this time. It's got his own music too. Quite the find. I'm a bit tempted to keep this for my shelf. Oh, well, that's my sword now. I guess I just dropped my old one. Oh, it makes me highly visible though. That's. Like, literally makes me glow in the dark. Always love that. Okay. Objectives! We found the two of Sir Elden and made his sword mine. First objective, finally complete. Now all I need is 3,000 total loot. And to get back to my boat when I'm done. Now the boat's all the way back at the start. I've got 2960 loot. I, if I sell this other diary to Mr... Where is it? Yeah, if I sell that diary, hopefully he'll to Mr. Hammer Priest Missionary Dude. Hopefully he'll give me 50 for it, like he did for the other book, and that should get me to the loot goal. I don't, don't mind about finding all the loot by any means. It would just uh, take quite a long time and. I feel I've spent far too long in these caverns already. 
Alright, green will take me back to the temple. Okay, so we need to get back to the village. Upstairs, uh, stairs. I don't have any healing questions left, do I? Oh, well, I've got almost no items left anymore. Well, relatively. Three bugs. The number of bugs matters at all. Blue and red goes to the village. Sell this diary, that should get me the loot I need, and then we can pretty much just go home, right? I wonder if this one got any loot. Oh, it's also got a gas arrow. No bones with loot, okay. I don't need gas errors anymore, it's a little late for gassing things, but uh, if I'd known much earlier that I could do that. Although we do have to go through the monkey village again, and so maybe I gas some of them if I need to. Alright, so, I have another book you might be interested in now that I no longer need it. Oh, this appears to be a pagan account written during the years of the sun. How interesting. It's sure to be a rather scathing read. I can hardly wait. Here's some gold. Yay. Oh, I think he gave me 100 for that instead of 50. More valuable. Oh, and I can't still read it. All right, that's interesting. Uh, actually, good, because I thought I was putting off selling it because I thought I wouldn't be able to read it again, but uh, turns out... That would not have been a limitation, although I would have had to come all the way back here in order to read it. Alright. Back to the caves once more. For what is hopefully the last time. This time I need to find my way back the way I came, right? Which I don't remember which it is. Two paths, possibly. So I don't remember where this path went, right? Ah, oh, no, this is this is just this this is just this explorer's remains. Okay. Oh yeah, so both of those paths lead to Millbog, right? Here's the temple. So this must be the way out. Yeah, this is the way I came in. This is back to the, the, the lake, I think. <coughs> yeah, with the lake monster there, alright. Now... So I'm gonna check I'm looking at the map. It's east to get back to Millbog. East is kind of where I came in. And one of the bugs I need is apparently flying around here somewhere. If I'm catching those five bugs. Oh hello guys. Speaking of which. All right, and this way takes me back to Nilbog, I think. Oh yeah, eyeballs, let's just... Ha. 
I roll. You get to die. I have no patience for eyeballs anymore. Alright, barrack tunnels that we came through before and knocked some barracks out in. There was a barrack sleeping right in the path we came along. Which I remember. Sis. Well, this is actually one way to Nilbog, yeah. Or to the. to the monkey village, right? Yeah, we got the guy there at his, at his fire. Apparently the final insect for our collection <coughs> lives up here. Right, we've got all five bugs. A jar full of bugs. If I remember right, we used that back at the lake, so I'm going to try using that because it was an interesting secret. If you remember that cave I found a long time back, oh, which way to go? The cave I found a long time back with just a tree in it, just a little dead end cave that I think was off the lakes. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Am I? It's just the lake. No, yeah, this is this is the right way. Yeah. So somewhere around on this cliff wall was a little cave with just a tree stump in it, right? There we are. Right, so putting the jar of birds on this tree stump. Does something. Teleports me to a weird alternate dimension. All right, this definitely needs uh, care. I imagine I'd die if I fall off there. Hopefully this isn't too hard. Oh, it always sounds like he's like suppressing. Suppressing your belt rather than actually climbing. And again, we won't talk about the garage sound like when he's doing his climbing grunts. God, it's so dark. Where's my lantern? Well, it lights up what I'm standing on and not much else. Brilliant. What have we got here? Uh, picture of somebody lying on a bed with a thing standing over it watching him. Kind of looks like me lying on the bed. Weird, creepy. It's pitch black here. Uh... A sword on the table. That's back at my base, right? But uh, there's some loot on the rafters. If that was my loot, then I missed it. People in a pub. What is this all about? That's why I'm definitely going in, in circles. It's not me, it's my kind of clothes, but it's uh, somebody old and bearded. Although, well, I guess it's not, I'm not Garrett, so maybe that is me. Somebody lying down 
chained to something. Uh, that's is that where it came in? No. Maybe. Whoa, careful. Where's my lantern? I can't see a, I can't see a thing. That's a new picture. Somebody walking down a hallway outside a storeroom. Hammerite standing on a balcony looking over. Chapel-y kind of place. That's the one chained up again. Well, I don't think I've been this way, then I didn't come in by that picture. Let's just turn off the lantern for safety's sake. Might not be very safe to do so, of course, but. Uh, Which is an interesting swamp. What is this place? It's very much, it feels like a, uh, feels very much like the uh, little bits of the outsider's world in Dishonored. Oh, whoa, whoa, careful, even with the weird danger, dangerous midair. Bottom, bottomless abyss platforming. And floating bits of ruins and... Hmm, interesting. Temple. Okay. Well, that was that was unusual. I guess it's time to go back. Thankfully, it's not far. Well, it wasn't entirely enlightening. I guess maybe that's previews of things to come. I don't know. Right, back this way. Oop, no, back this way. Sorry. Yeah. That must have taken me back out to that same spot again. It's this one, right? Okay. So now we're back at the monkey village. We have all our objectives complete. We just have to get back to our boat, which was somewhere on the other side of this village. We came this way, right? This had one of those. No. I can't remember how I got here. I guess it's east is the way back because everything leads out towards the west from where I came in, according to the map. Yeah, that's the boundary of the village. Where did I park? Is that my, is that my boat? Yay! Back at my boat. At last, we're through the swamps. And it only took three hours and 47 minutes. That's, uh, although I did reload a lot, it was uh, quite a lot longer than that uh, altogether. Uh, somehow missed over 2,000 loot. 
had five whole secrets. Wow. Okay. Um, the one, the one secret I found was the uh, jar of bugs one, which I uh, knew about from the walkthrough. I would never have found that otherwise, but it sounded interesting enough to look for. I didn't. I never looked up what the other secrets were. Right. So that is uh, Impious Pilgrimage. I'm going to uh, end this episode here, and next time we'll continue with the next mission in this campaign. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you here next time.